Hi, my name is Olga and in today's video I am going to show you how to create an art journal page using some products by Poppy Stamps. First, I'm trimming the watercolor paper to 7.5 by 7.5 inches. Then, I'm die-cutting two rectangles of the same size. The idea here is to make a window scene. I'm going to turn one of the rectangles into the window lattice, and I'm using a diamond background die by Poppy Stamps for this. Notice uh, that I have to expand the pattern to cover the whole area. The other rectangle will make a narrow frame for the lattice, so I'm trimming it with my craft knife and the cutting mat measuring one eighth of an inch from the edges. Now I'm putting together the two pieces, uh, two pieces uh, with, uh, with some liquid glue. Here I'm defining the position of my window and then tracing it with a pencil. After that, I'm covering the area around the window with clear water. And then I'm gonna be dropping in the yellow color. Yellow underwash is a good idea if you want your painting to look very warm and kind of glowing from within. Now two shades of blue for the sky. For the wall I am applying uh, various shades of brown. As you can see I am not using any complicated color mixing, just taking the paint right from the containers and put it onto the paper. More brown to the edge. With a permanent brown pen I'm tracing the outlines of tile. I'm not being too precise here. Then I'm coloring the tiles uh, with the darkest shades of brown. Now I am adding more color here and there around the window for more contrast. I'm drawing the wood grain pattern on the window sill with my brown pen.
For the sentiment, I'm gonna be using the fancy Happy Holidays die by Poppy Stamps. But uh, I will only take the happy word. And now using the embossing distressing and an embossing marker by Ranger, I'm covering the window lattice and the sentiment. Making sure I'm covering it completely and evenly. I've chosen uh, chosen the copper embossing powder by Wow for my page. Because I love the warm glow copper gives. And heat set it. I'm going uh, over the surface with my antistatic pad. Then uh, I'm writing the rest of the sentiment with an embossing marker. You cannot see it right now, but it will become visible in a moment. Here it is. I'm sweeping the excess powder with a dry brush. And then heat set it. I'm putting some wet glue onto my die cut work. And finally assembling the sentiment. Same with the window lattice. Now adding some shading to the letters with a brown pen. The next step is going all over the edges of the page with my paper distressor. Then with the scissors I'm making small slits and roll the paper to the sides for more age and tattered look. I'm tinting the edges of my page with a vintage photo distressing. making sure no white shows through. I'm adding more contrast to the areas around the window using a scrap piece of paper as a mask. To make the base of a page, I'm taking the thick chipboard and cover it with gesso all around the perimeter, creating some texture. And then letting it dry completely. Now with a mix of brown and black acrylic paints, I'm coloring the page base. After it's dry, I'm slightly touching and rubbing the surface with a metallic rub-on paint. And you can see how it instantly brings forth the texture that I have previously created with the gesso. By the way, I'm using a copper tint to match my window and sentiment.
finally, I'm attaching the page to the, to the base with uh, some double-sided tape. To make my little still life, I've chosen uh, the following poppy stems dies. Ornate tea set. It includes the teapot, a cup and a saucer. Then Marianne vine background. And small hydrangea, hydrangea blooms. And I'm sending them all to my die cutting machine. Now I am decorating the tea set with the stamps from Hop To It set by Poppy Stamps. Make sure to use permanent ink as uh, I'll be dealing with water later on. Here I'm using just a part of stamp. And same with a cup. I am now mixing uh, some faded jeans distressing with water to add final touches, as I want my tea set to look like blue and white china. Coloring the images. And also add in a blue ring to the saucer. Some crushed olive for the leaves, then touching the edges of vine with the forest moss to create some shading. Some wild honey to tint the edges of all the flowers. Now it's time to shape all the flowers just slightly. After that I'm going with the glossy accents all around the tea set and then set it aside to dry overnight. To arrange my still life I'm attaching the leaves with a wet glue and the tea set with some dimensional tape to pop it up a little bit. For the flowers I'm using a hot glue because hot glue dries instantly. With a fine tip brush and some black acrylic paint, I'm adding the centers to the flowers. As a final touch, I'm applying some crackle accents to the tiles randomly, not to all of them, and then let it dry completely. And here is my finished project. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. Have a wonderful day and think happy thoughts. Bye-bye!